Hi, so I'm going to show you how to make a Saturn cuff like this. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Do it a couple times and then I'm just going to finish it after that so you get the picture. And then I'll show you the finished thing. So you're going to take a big piece of string and you're going to string on three beads. So whatever color you're using, there should be one color you're using the whole time. How I used the clear um, glow in the dark bead. Each time you're gonna to want to do that with some color so I'm using the sparkly purple for that so you're gonna string whatever color you're using for that on and two other ones whatever color you like and then you're gonna take it and it'll be like this and you're gonna take the end that you have going uh, coming through this side and you're going to string it through the sparkly purple is what I'm using. So take the string that's this side and string it through the sparkly purple so that it's coming this way. You can get it. And then you're going to pull both strings and it should look like this. You're going to want to keep this tight the whole time, otherwise it won't look right. So, next you're going to string on another um, two beads, just two of whatever color, and you're going to string them on, and you're going to string through the purple going, so you're going to string through the purple, the clear purple, the uh, sparkly purple is where you can't talk. So you're going to take your string, and you're going to string. See if I can move this back. Okay, there we go. You're gonna string through the sparkly purple. So your beads uh, and your strings this way, and your beads here. You're gonna take that string and string through the purple, going that same way, like that. And you're gonna pull, and it should look like this. And now you're just gonna basically repeat that every time. So next time, so next you're going to string on, mine is the sparkly purple, and two beads that you wish. Okay, so you have one like this, you're going to want to keep this tight the whole time. And then you're going to string through the sparkly purple you just strung on, or whatever color you're using through so it's coming this direction and you're going to want to get that as close to the other thing as possible so just scoot it down if you need to and it should start to look like this and now what you're going to do is you're going to with that same string you're going to string on two more beads whatever color just not the sparkly purple And to keep it tight, you can pinch it together right here where the string you're using so it keeps it tight. And then when you string those on, the sparkly purple you just strung on last time, you're going to string through that to where it's coming out this way. So you're going to string through the sparkly purple you strung on this way. So my fingers are going this way. I can even do There we go. And then it just basically makes basically makes another one of those. So this is what will happen if you don't keep it tight. If that happens, you can just like gently scoot it down until they come together and then you just hold it tight again. And then you're just gonna just repeat that every single time. So I'll do it two more times so you can get the picture of it. Um, you're gonna take your string and now since we just finished another one of those we're going to string on a sparkly purple and two other colors and when you get down here you're gonna string through the sparkly purple coming out the way you're Easy just strung on.
bonfire. So it's like that. I'm gonna pull it down to where the other stuff is. Pull it tight. And then you're going to string on two beads, not the sparkly purple, but two other beads. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and string through that sparkly purple that you're working with. Going towards the beads you just strung on. And you're going to pull that. And it did that again. And yeah. And then what you're gonna do next is the same thing. So since you just finished that, you're gonna string on sparkly purple, whatever color you're using for that, and two other beads. And then you're gonna string through the sparkly purple towards the beads you were you just strung on. So it's coming out that way, and you're gonna pull it down with the rest. should start to look like this and then you're going to string on two beads of a different color and whatever color and string through the purple towards those beads like that and pull and keep it tight the whole time otherwise it'll get loose and you and look like that so and that's not what you want, obviously. And so, just keep it tight the whole time. Continue to do that the whole time. Just repeat that until you get it as long as you want. And I'll show you what to do at the end. Okay, once you get it to where it's long enough for your arm and you like it, um, you're just gonna basically tie it like you normally would. So here's how it should look. Um, yeah. If you pull it tight, it won't become all like able to tell what you like the different. Blah. If you pull it tight, you won't see that you just did the same thing over and over again like you would if you didn't pull it tight. There'd be spaces in between. So basically, you're just gonna tie it like you would a single or anything else. So. Once you're done tying it, just cut off the extra. And now you have a Saturn cuff. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions of what I should do, or if you have a question on what I just did, um, or any question, just leave it in the comments and subscribe and everything, and yeah. Yeah.